Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is part four of mean stack auth series. And uh, so if you remember that in the part three, we have completed the two API endpoint uh, that was a register and login. Okay, and we have also see how we can encrypt the password whenever we are registering and how we can compare the password whenever we are trying to log in. Okay, so that has been done in part three. If you have uh, missed that video, so you can go ahead on my YouTube channel and you can check out that video about the register and login. Okay, so once that is done, right? So what are we going to do in this part? So in this part, as you have seen the title already that we are going to make our response standard because currently if you see, right, whenever we are doing the registration success or login success, we are just sending a text back, okay, to the, to the client. Currently it is Postman we are using, but once we use Angular, so it's not a good practice actually just to send a string to the to the user, okay, whenever we, there is some action happening. So what we are trying to do now, so we'll create something standard, like whenever there is a success call, so we will try to send user the status code, like if it is success, then 200 and the message, and if it has some data, so we can pass that data as well. Okay, and even if there is any error or there's any exception, so we will try to catch the exception and we will try to send it. Okay, like uh, a very in a very standard way with a status code message, what is the exception and and there's any stack trace. Okay, so all those things we can send. Okay, so currently we we don't have that feature here yet. So this is what we are going to implement in this video. Okay, so what are we going to use to do that? So there is something called as middleware. Okay, so middleware is kind of a function that have access to your request and response. Okay, so if you go in the index.js, so here we have that app.use, right? So this is kind of a middleware, right? So here we can access both the request and response. And for us, we just have to make use of the response. Like whenever we want to send a response, we will modify that response and we will send it to the user. Okay. So now you will see like how this next, like whenever I'm using this next, next, right? Now you will see that thing in action, like how this next will be useful for us. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and create our first middleware in Node.js. Okay. So the first thing what we will use, we'll go in our utils, right? So we'll try to create the two models. So one is your error dot js okay and we'll also create one more which is success success dot js okay now let's go and let's see how we can make use of this error okay so what we will do right we will try to create a function so this will be export const create error okay and this will have your two things like we will take the status and we will take the message from the user and based on the status and message, we'll try to pass it. Okay. So first let's me try to create our error. So const error is equals to new error. Okay. And in that we will try to add this. So we'll say error dot status and we will pass the status what you are getting it from the user. And the second thing is error dot message. So this we will pass again the above message what user will send. Okay. And once we have these two and then we can return this error, what we have created. Okay. This new error. Okay. This is not the one ERR. Okay. So that's how we will have created our new function, create error. We will just use this. I'll just show you how to use this uh, function, what we have created here. Okay. Now, same thing we have to do for the success. So it's, it is going to be more simple than what we have already. Okay. So what we'll have in the success is so, okay. Okay. I did a mistake. Like uh, I did it in success.js. So let me cut this and let me put it in the error.js, not in the success. Sorry. So yeah, this is done. And in the success.js, we'll say again, export const success or we'll say create success. Okay. Again, this will take three things. Now this will take status code, like status message, and then your, if you have any data. Okay. All right. So now here I will create the success object. So I'll say success OBJ will be equals to what you will have. You'll have your status with the status message with the message and data with the data. Okay. So just to be very clear. So let me make this as status code. Okay. So this will be status code. This will be success message. So success message. So let me change it to success message. Okay. And this will be our data. Okay, which is this. Okay. And all we need to do is just return this. So return your success object. Okay. Success object. That's it. So now you have these two things ready. So now what we need to do, right? We just need to make use of our middleware. Okay. Which we will create. So that middleware will help you to do your job. Okay. How do, where do we create the middleware? So if you go in your index.js, right? 
So here you can see this app dot use and everything. This is nothing but your middleware. Okay, but we are going to create our own custom middleware. Okay, so which is going to catch. So this will be our error handler. Okay, so this is error handler middleware. So let me create. Let me give a comment here. So error handler middleware. Okay, and now let's you create that middleware. So app dot use. Okay, so as I have told you, right, this will have your all four things, which is it can catch your error. Okay, it can take your request, it can take your response, and it will take your next function. Okay, and now based on these three. Okay, so based on these three, what we can do? Oh, okay, okay. So this has to be because this is a callback, right? So that's a mistake. So this should be inside a callback. Okay, and now you can just say this. No need of this equal to here. Just add a semicolon. So now inside this, right, you will try to modify based on your message. So what you will do, right? So whenever the status code. So let's catch the status code first. So I'll say const status code. Okay, and it equals to error. See this error what we have just added in the callback. Error dot status. Okay, if there is any status, right? So we can take that status. Okay. So this will basically uh, help you. So we are trying to create it for the error, right? So that's what we are going to do. So if the error is like this, if there is any status code, then take this or take 500. Okay. Then we have const message. So we create error message. So for that, we'll say error dot message. If there is no message, then it will take the by default like internal server error. Okay. Or else we can also write something like something, something went wrong. So this is the by default one. Okay. Okay. Next what? So once we have these two messages, then we can say a return. So we can just say a return response. So response dot status. Okay. In the status, we can just pass your status code, whatever you will get. Okay. And then it will be dot JSON. And in the JSON, you will be returning like this. So success, suppose I need to return success is false, right? Because this is error. So success will be false, correct, then status. Okay, so we want to send the status. So for the status, what we can use, we can use the status code on the top, correct? And we have a message. So for the message, what we can do, we can take the message again from the top. And if you need to send the stack trace, so you can see your stack as error dot stack okay so this will take your stack trace if you want to send this error okay so let's save this all right so now let's just try to test this if this is working or not so what we will do right so in the auth controller so whenever we are trying to do the register so what we will do we will try to return so now let me just show you we'll try to return okay so we'll try to say return next this is the next what i will be using now return next and inside that i will say create error okay so this is important on the top create error and in that i'll just pass the status like i want to pass 500 and i want to say uh, my custom error okay so whenever i'm trying to register so i'm just trying to pass this error okay just to just i'm creating a random error just to show just to the demonstration okay so now i'm just trying to do register so i'll just click on register user so let's see what happens can you see once i click on register i'm getting a proper uh, but we say that an object, an error object where we have the state success is false, status is 500, message is my custom error, and I also have a stack trace like on which line I got that particular error, like line number two, uh, like line number two of 17 line, all those things, correct? So this is what the stack trace I'm able to get, okay? This is the benefit of creating this thing, okay? Suppose if you don't need the stack trace, right? So you can just go and remove it. So it's fine. It's not compulsory, but yeah, you can remove it. So you just need three things. So you can do that as well. Again, if I try to show you, so now this time it will be without stack trace. If I try to click on send, can you see? Success is false, status is 500, and my message is my customer. Oh, sorry, I did a customer, so that's my mistake. So, but you can see, right? It's still working. Okay, so that's what you can see here. So, this is my custom custom error. Okay, so that's how you have created a uh, things for create error. So, same thing we have to do for create success. All right, so let's go in your index.js and I'll try to reuse this existing one. Okay, so what I will do here is like, uh, so rather than making it as an error handler, we can make it as a response handler. So I'm trying to reuse this existing middleware. Okay. And this, I will change it to um, object. Okay. So let's change everything with object now. So let's no need of ERR. We'll change it to object, object and object. Yeah, it's fine. So now what we will do, right? So we will try to see if I'm getting a status code as 200, like in term of 200, if I'm like 200, 200, 201, 204. So all these are success message. So what we will do, right? We'll try to send a response as true. Okay, so that's what I will do. So now what I will do if my response is 200, 201, 204. Okay, so this 
200 is my success. This is uh, created and this is no content. If you just try to Google, what are the status scores? So you can get more information about them. Okay. So these are my success uh, status code. Okay. If this is my status code, so I'll say dot sum. Okay. If this is my status code, so I'll say a is equal to equal to my OBJ, my object dot status. If this is the case, okay, then my message, then my success will be true or else it will be false. Okay. Something like this we can do. All right. Next thing is the status, right? So status will send the status again. So message. So no need to say uh, say as error message because this can be my generic message now. So I'll just send it as message and also let me change it to as message. Okay. If I have any data, so I can pass data also. I can say data. And if I have data, so I can say obj dot data. That's it. So now this guy becomes my generic response handler. So this will send if there is any error, it will also take the error. If there is any success, it will take the success message also. Okay. So let's try to demonstrate about this one. So now if I go here, right. Okay. Oh, one more thing. So this can be nullable. Okay. So it's not a compulsion that uh, this should have a data. So this data can also be null. Okay. Just to be sure. So it's not a compulsory that you should pass data every time. This guy can also be null. All right. So now let's go in your uh, auth controller.js and what we will do, right? Let me remove this guy for now. And now I will not send the message like this. Okay. So now what I will return, I will be returning it via my middleware. So I'll say return next. And in that I will say create success. Okay. Create success. See, it is imported on the top as well. Okay create success and in that I will pass my status code. My status code is 200 and my message is user registered. Okay. User registered successfully maybe. Okay. Save this and same thing I want to do for my um, the login success. So let me take it. So let's copy this guy and let's paste it here. So this will be my login success. So let's change the message to login success. Okay. Save this. And now if I go in my API endpoint, so let me see if there is no error first of all. So let's go and open up the terminal. Yeah, everything is okay. I can see all green. So let's go and try to register or try to log in. So if I click on login now, can you see I'm getting a proper message now, a proper response from the backend like success is true, status is 200 and the message is login success. Okay, same thing if I try to do for register user. Okay, so if I go in the body and if I try with the new user like, um, um, okay, Jessica, Pin. Okay, just a random name. Okay, so I'll say Jess30 and this will be Jess at the red gmail.com. And now if I click on send, so I can see now a proper message, a proper response like status true, success is true, status is 200 and the message is user register successful. So this is what my intention was to teach you about how we can create this beautiful response. So this is how we are handling both error as well as uh, the success response. Okay. So even if you suppose you want to send some data, you can send some data also that I will show you in the next part where we act, where we do, uh, we will be doing it for the sending all the user list. Okay. So at that time we will have, we'll have to show, send some data there. Okay. So I will show you the data response that time. Okay. Also, if you want to try, you can, so if you have come till here, so right, so yeah, you can see, right, we still have all these things created, correct? So what you can do, right, you can practice, for a practice, you can try to change all of this existing one. So you no need to send like this. So suppose you want to send a success response. So what you will do, you will just say return next. Okay. You will say create success. Okay. It is imported on the top. Can you see it is imported also? Import is very important. And in this, you will try to send the status code 200 and you will say that role created. Okay. No need of this response anymore. So in this way, we have created our own generic message. And if there is any error, so what you will do again, easy, right? Just say return in the next function, you will say create error. Okay. And in the create error, just send your status code. Uh, this is 400, which is bad request and just send your message. What is the message? It is bad request. So I'll copy paste copy and paste it here and this is also done. So no need of this kind of message anymore. So all our response will be generic. So there is no change. So we will be using everywhere the same. So this is how we try to reuse your code. Okay. So again, some error I want to show. Just go back here, paste it, copy this message and paste it here. Okay. So no need of this kind of response anymore. So this will handle it for us, but this will be 500, right? Because this is an exception. Okay. So this should be 500 and let's save it. So same thing you have to do for update role, uh, get all roles and delete role. Okay. So I'm expecting that you guys will 
do it so that you will practice like how we can use the middleware in your Node.js application. So that's it from this today's video. So in this video, we have covered about your middleware and how do we create this uh, response, okay? Like response and success. Like this will be very common. We will be using in our application. So if you have any doubt or any question regarding this part where we have learned about this middleware, so do ask me in the comment section if you have any. And also if you have any other ideas about this, some any other way of implementing this kind of feature. So do let me know in the comment section or, or also you can contact me on Telegram or, or Instagram if you have any suggestion to give. Okay, so till that time, bye bye and keep learning guys.